so very good morning all of you for today's period we are going to learn a new lesson the name of the lesson is agriculture and in agriculture we are going to learn about economic activities so agriculture economic activities now see you have to refer from the textbook of 8th standard the beginning of page number 40 and you have to read till the end of page 40 so we have to refer page number 40 but as per the new edition of the textbook the pages number are different so accordingly you have to find out the lesson agriculture from there so i think agriculture uh, that is lesson number four in that textbook so you have to refer lesson number four see now did you get it there are three kinds of economic activities now see the examples that deal directly with natural resources uh, we'll see that examples of the natural resources also processing of natural resources this is the second step and the third step is service for other activities now we'll see the examples of each of it so where we are going to directly deal with natural resources like agriculture fishing and mining then processing of natural resources, there we can see baking, weaving, making steel. And service for other activities, we can see banking, transport and trade. Okay, so these are some of the examples and these are processes where we will find the economic activities is going on. Now we'll see what we are going to call it where we are going to deal with natural resources directly these are going to be called as primary activity what we are going to call it primary activity then for second processing of natural resources this is known as secondary activity and then service for other activities where we have seen banking transport trade etc these are known as tertiary activities so which three kinds of economic activities we have seen primary activity secondary activity and tertiary activity so as we have seen the new word tertiary tertiary means what of third rank or the subsequent activity which is giving support to primary and secondary activity that is known as tertiary activity now we'll move ahead we have to discuss here briefly describe the three types of economic activities right now only we have seen the examples uh, of the process okay that you have to frame it in the sentences and accordingly we have to write it down so that will be your answer for this question so see that the three types of economic activities are primary activities which deal with raw materials from nature example agriculture mining fishing gathering etc secondary activities which deal with mainly processing or manufacturing manufacturing means what we are going to produce so many things in the factories in the companies like this for example making steel weaving baking and so on so many examples we can add in it and the third one activity is tertiary activities which deal with services to the people and the other two sectors example banking advertising transport insurance etc okay so this way you can write that answer see that this question is there in your worksheet so here you will get the answer for this question so please be prepared to write that answer in a proper way you have to frame it in the sentences now we have to discuss state the differences between primary and tertiary activities can anybody tell me that what do we have find differences between primary and tertiary activity primary activities include all those connected with extraction and production of natural resources agriculture fishing and gathering are good examples whereas tertiary activities provide support to the primary and secondary sectors through services transport trade banking insurance 
and advertising are some exam examples of tertiary activities yes thank you so much very good so we'll see the answer for this okay primary activities directly involved with extracting natural resources okay for example agriculture fishing and mining and tertiary activities that involve giving a service and giving support to primary and secondary activities for example banking insurance and trade that is the main difference between it now we'll move ahead with the third question what are the most important features that agriculture depends on okay what are that can anybody tell me that where agriculture depends on it agriculture activity depends on the favorable topography and uh, of soil and climate very good correct answer beta see favorable topography of soil and climate do you know that what is topography topography means a precise description or we can say that the surface features of the soil whether it is used for cultivation or not so it should be favorable condition of soil for cultivation and we have to consider the climate also now we'll move ahead with the second part of this lesson agriculture farm system okay here we will learn about the farm system so there we have to consider page number 41 from the textbook poultry products on page number 42 right so we'll see did you get it agriculture is an economic activity okay what is it agriculture is included in primary activity that's why it has been mentioned as it is an economic activity so seeds fertilizers machinery labor etc these are the things which are needed to do the cultivation of the crops these are considered as input so if we will see the examples like seeds fertilizers machinery and labor these are inputs then plowing sowing irrigation weeding etc these are the processes which we are going to use in the agriculture okay so weeding means what to remove the unwanted vegetation from the farm okay or to remove the unwanted grass from the main crop that is known as weeding so this is the second process which we will find and this is known as processing or we can say that these are organizing things together and the third one crops wool dairy eggs etc these are considered as output so again we can see the three processes are here input processing and output so input is going to be considered as raw material process you know that where we are going to do the process and output means by doing process on input what we are getting is that are considered as outputs from that economic activity so we have to discuss about it that explain farming as an economic activity by dividing the process of farming into input processing and output so here whatever information we got it in the previous slide okay that we have to consider it and accordingly we have to frame it in the sentences so we will write from agriculture is an economic activity this is primary activity and the inputs are seeds fertilizers machinery labor and after that we have to do the process on it like plowing sowing irrigation weeding etc and then whatever production we will get these are considered as output like crops wool dairy eggs etc so this way you can write the answer for this question is there any doubt in the question in the lesson okay everything is clear for all of you see this is the lesson number 4 agriculture from standard 8 textbook of geography okay who will read this first one paragraph gurpit madhu and tina were walking through the village where they saw a farmer tilling land 
The farmer told them that he was growing wheat and had just added manure to the soil to make it more fertile. He told the children that the wheat would fetch a good price in Mandi, from where it would be taken to factories to make bread and biscuits from flour. Yes, thank you so much. Here we got an example. Okay, so there are three persons: Gurpreet, Madhu, and Tina. What they were doing? They were walking through the village where they saw a farmer tilling land. Tilling means what? He was preparing the land for cultivation. So the farmer told them that he was growing wheat and had just added manure to the soil to make it more fertile. So uh, it should be favorable for cultivation of the crop. So he was growing their wheat and he had added manure. Manure means what? Like fertilizer. Okay, to the soil to make it more fertile. So he told the children that the wheat would fetch a good price in the mandi. Mandi means we can say that market from where it would be taken to factories to make bread and biscuits from flour okay so here we got the transformation or the process this transformation from a plant to a finished product involves three types of economic activity which we already have seen primary secondary and tertiary activities so in that example what is included in primary activity can anybody tell me that agriculture yes correct answer agriculture then secondary the process which he was going to do to grow the wheat there in the making of bread and making and of soap are examples of the, uh, yes. secondary activities yes we can say that which we get, uh, get the production from it bread and biscuits from the flour okay mm -hmm. and that he can sell in the market so in this way he is getting pro more profit from this so we'll see one by one primary activities include all those connected with extraction and production of natural resources extraction is what the things which we are getting to pull out or to remove possible okay so primary activities include all those connected with extraction and production of natural resources agriculture fishing and gathering are good examples Secondary activities are concerned with or related with the processing of these resources. We have seen that processes like manufacturing of steel, baking of bread, weaving of cloth. These are examples of secondary activity. Then the third one is tertiary activities provide support to the primary and secondary sectors through services. So transport, trade, banking insurance and advertising these are examples of tertiary activities now we'll move ahead with the next part agriculture okay where we have seen the farm system okay so agriculture is a primary activity we have seen in a, in an example that this is considered as primary activity what it includes now it includes growing crops fruits vegetables flowers and rearing of livestock okay to keep animals and to take care of them these are considered as rearing of livestock so in the world 50% of persons are engaged in agricultural activity see the number of the percentage how many are there 50% of persons in the world, these are engaged in agricultural activity. So, we can say that two-thirds of India's population is still dependent on agriculture. So, if we talk about our area, so most of the people are involving in agriculture. They are totally dependent on agriculture. So, uh, we have seen that uh, question related to agriculture. It is related, it is reliable or it is depend on favorable topography of soil and climate. These are vital for agricultural activity. Vital means what? Very important. Okay, so we have to consider two things. One is favorable topography of soil and second thing is climate. So, the land on which the crops are grown is known as arable 
lag which we can see in the figure 4.1 that i will show it so in the map you can see that agricultural activity is concentrated in those regions of the world where suitable factors for the growing of crop exist now i will show that okay world distribution of arable land arable land means what what we have seen right now the land on which the crops are grown is known as arable land so which land is suitable for cultivation of the crop that is known as arable land okay so you can see in the map of the world which is considered as the suitable land for cultivation of the crop that is arable land okay you can see by the green color you can see by the green color right so you can see it by green color now we will see that table which is related to it agriculture sericulture pisciculture then viticulture and horticulture that we will learn it in next way so this is farm system which we already had learn about it that input output and process okay so agriculture or farming can be looked at as a system the important inputs are seeds fertilizers machinery and labor okay some of the operations involved are plowing sowing irrigation weeding and harvesting these are the processes or we can say that these are the operations then the outputs from the system include crops wool dairy and poultry products these are considered as outputs so you can see in that table inputs which are these inputs which are these see what i told it seeds fertilizers machinery and labor okay these are inputs then which process they are going to do plowing sowing spraying we can say that irrigation weeding and harvesting these are considered as the processes and what are the outputs what we are getting to do the process on the inputs like crops wool dairy and poultry products okay you can see the second example also storage labor machinery chemicals these are some of the inputs and physical inputs are sunshine rainfall temperature soil and slope these are some of the examples of the inputs so physical and human form inputs is it clear to all yes ma'am is there any doubt no ma'am yes okay very good thank you now we'll move ahead with the worksheet now introduction to agriculture and farm system the same information which we get it by seeing it no i will tell to someone to read it activities may be primary secondary or tertiary primary activities deal with extraction and production of natural resources while secondary activities deal with the processing of these materials tertiary activities are those that provide support to the primary and secondary activities agriculture is a primary activity it is largely practiced in india agricultural activity depends on favorable topography of soil and climate land on which crops are grown is called arable land agriculture can be looked at as a system as it works on a definite process of inputs operations and outputs okay the same information which we have learned in that lesson so it is there in your worksheet so there we had seen three economic activities primary secondary and third one is going to be called as tertiary activity okay so we have seen an example of agriculture this is primary activity and it is largely practiced in india so we can see that it is totally depend upon favorable topography of soil and the second thing is climate and the land on which crops are grown is called as arable land we have seen in the maps also right then agriculture can be looked at as system as it works on a definite process of inputs operations and outputs instead of operation we can write processes also okay so this way we have completed the lesson do you have any doubt in the lesson 
दो मैम ओके सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच इफ यू लाइक आर वीडियोस डू शेयर देम एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इफ यू वांट ऑसम क्विजेस राइट टू अस कीप वॉचिंग एंड कीप लर्निंग विथ वॉलनट